My name is Jun Goeku. I'm the owner of the Comic Bug in Manhattan Beach. To sum it up, Diamond Comics is the distributor for a majority of the comic publishers. Uh, I guess you can say they're a monopoly. They've had this for the last 20, 30 years. They're essentially the, the one company that ships out all the comics and they're exclusively through them, Marvel, DC, Image, Dark Horse, and Boom Studios. A lot of these companies ship only through Diamond Comics and they distribute the comics uh, books worldwide. They've been doing this for quite a, a while. Uh, early on, they set up exclusives, so Marvel, DC, and other companies can't uh, ship their books through other companies, so they're the, uh, the sole distributor. Uh, and But a lot of that has changed recently. Perhaps one of the things that was a, a catalyst, or maybe DC was going to do in their first, uh, was planning to do anyways, uh, during the pandemic, Diamond Comics made the decision which most majority of the comic shops supported to stop shipping comic books to shops and this happened at the end of March we received our last shipment we all agreed because we knew that the shutdown for every business was approaching um, however there was a little bit issue as some shops were in states that were weren't really hit that hard and those shops were still open but essentially every shop in the world stopped receiving brand new comics from Marvel DC image and everyone else this is the first. If you speak to people older than me, they've never heard of a time when comics did not ship. Uh, other than your region maybe being affected by power outages or weather, comics have always been printed, um, except for I believe one week after 9-11, comics didn't ship. But prior to that, comics have shipped every week for the last 40, 50 years. D Diamond made the decision, we all agreed, that we can't sell new comics while our stores are shut down. During that time, one publisher, DC Comics, made the decision to resume sell, uh, shipping out comics through other means. So they set up uh, agreements with a couple other distributors to start shipping their comics before Diamond was ready to ship out books. This did create a bit of controversy because a lot of stores still weren't open. So online sellers who were doing well selling books through the mail were hoping and wanting to get these books, but retail stores, which are called brick and mortar storefront uh, businesses, we couldn't open. So we really weren't, didn't like the idea of unable to compete with other places that were open or online sellers to get the books early. So DC did start shipping books about a month before when things actually kind of slowed down, the disease, uh, the pandemic was cases were down. Um, then when we started opening up in um, late May, other stores had already received their books. And perhaps because of that, DC decided to part ways with Diamond after 30 years um, and start shipping their books from a different distributor. And also they're okay with selling their books on Tuesdays. So it completely switched the whole model of new comics shipping on Wednesdays, they're okay with books shipping on Tuesdays. In, a monopoly is never really looked at favorably, but you know, having one distributor shipping all your books through and there's multiple publishers, it makes it a little bit easier for the stores. Um, it does make it a little bit more difficult if you're a smaller independent publisher because you have to meet specific requirements in order to get your books distributed through Diamond Comics. Um, and some of them can be a little bit hard for someone just starting to get their books out to, to reach those numbers. And uh, the discount may not be great for you, so you may not make a whole lot. But you know, if you get into Diamond, you're, you, know, you can sell your books potentially worldwide to, to 2,000 to 2,500 comic shops worldwide. But if you're unable to get in there, it gets to be quite difficult to really to promote your books and to sell your books. And in the old days, if you, you know, currently if you can't get diamond, the old ways are the only way, which is to send out contacts through every comic shop or even online sellers to sell your books in their shops. And that means calling them and negotiating with each comic shop that they would carry your comics in their, in their store. And that's quite challenging. Um, that's why for us, we do our ways. Uh, it's a little bit different. We're a lot more friendly to independent publishers. So let's say you print your own comic book 
um, you printed 500 copies or 100 copies and you want to sell it and promote it or have fun doing some signings, we do it quite often in our shop. Pre-COVID, we were doing it probably maybe every other week, uh, a couple times a month where public writers, artists, uh, publishers would come out, set up a table in front of our shop. And yes, they could promote, let them know that they're coming out and they'll do signings. They can do commission for uh, commission artwork. They could sell their t-shirts, prints, stickers, whatever they want. And for us, it's always been whatever you bring in, you sell, you keep. If you bring in your own books, if we don't have to take a risk, then we appreciate that. We appreciate you coming out, spending time and interacting with our customers. We'd love to see new artists and new creators. And you keep it all. You Whatever you sell, you keep as a thank you for coming out and taking your time. And uh, hopefully we benefit each other by we get a little bit of... Uh, you know, you're promoting us and we will promote you too.